Greetings programs. This video was originally going to be titled the problem with NECA today, but now I add it on and every day because I did my research into this company and their problems don't start now. They actually extend into the past. And I've reached out to several people who've had problems with NECA and to hear their stories to assure myself and you watching that I'm not crazy in my thinking that NECA does have a lot of issues. I also want to state before I begin this video that I'm a huge NECA fan. I am. I have a pretty big NECA collection, not like the biggest, but I'll show you here later. Also, if you look at my YouTube cover art, what figure is that there? It's a NECA figure that might change soon. But I do like supporting small businesses, especially small businesses that make good looking products. It's just that when you take those said products out of the packaging, it goes downhill from there. So this is the most real video I've ever made with honest truth. It's going to be broken down into three acts. Let's do this. Act one, customer relations. Some background information for you. No, that's not Keemstar, that's Randy Falk, NECA's director of product development who runs the Twitter for NECA at NECA underscore toys. He spams the fuck out of your timeline answering questions from fans and a vast majority of them are repeated questions from dumbasses that don't pay attention. Randy has an interesting background of dealing with consumers and I'll get to that in a minute. My story, there was an incident on Twitter Sunday. July 17th with me and Randy. Prologue to this Twitter incident. Randy has disrespected fans of Alien 3 and AVP before this incident happened two weeks prior on June 30th. He ran his mouth about AVP being shit and subtly dissed Alien 3. I was about to... But I blew it off. I'm like, eh, whatever. In steps since Sunday, July 17th. It was a good day before this shit happened. Family was visiting from out of town. It was a grand time. I was very happy. This Twitter incident all started very innocently with a photo of Ripley in her jacket in Aliens, which would have made a great figure. And Randy said they might not be able to because of the figure limit in Sigourney's contract. We consumers assume that NECA is going to be making an Alien Resurrection figure, which they have not formally announced yet. So I said in Twitter in reply, should I rather have that jacket in Aliens than an Alien 4 figure? Alien 4 wasn't that great. Randy responds, I feel the same about Alien 3, but we must give full effort. Okay, I mean, you're entitled to your opinion. Because I like movies other people don't like. Because I like Batman v Superman. A lot of people hate it. Vice versa. I mean, I'm an adult. It's all good. It's all understandable. Then I said, Alien 3 is my favorite of the franchise. Remember this. I said, Alien 3 is my favorite. Also, side note, not the theatrical cut. That shit sucks. I'm talking about the assembly cut, which is closest to David Fincher's original vision. Back to the story, though. Randy, we couldn't disagree more, but to each his own. The first two are untouchable, and the other two are unforgivable. Unforgivable? What the fuck? Are you kidding me? Alien 3 is unforgivable. All right, well, this set me off. He's blatantly disrespected the film, and more importantly, the opinions of the consumers who buy his products. He did this two weeks prior on June 30th with Alien 3 and AVP, and he just did it again with Alien 3 and Alien 4. Two weeks prior, I let this slide. This time, I was not going to. So I was pissed, and I said, well, it's a shame people can't think for themselves. Subtext, people hate Alien 3 because everyone else hates Alien 3. It's just a theory. Do I really believe this? Pfft, no. I just said it because I was pissed the fuck off. And I jabbed at him for jabbing at me when he knew I liked Alien 3. And it was almost like he did it on purpose. Randy, you're entitled to your opinion, but this is your one and only warning. So I'm seeing hypocrisy right now, and I'm going to call him out on it. I mean, you are as well, but you still include a jab in there. I'm thinking, okay, you know, this will all be over. This is just a misunderstanding. We'll all apologize. We'll all be done with it. I like Alien 3. You don't. It's all good. Randy, I didn't insult anyone. I made a statement about the films. One, you definitely insulted me by saying Alien 3 is unforgivable. Not like I didn't like it. It's the worst of the franchise, which would have been fine and acceptable. But this elitist, the first two are untouchable. But your favorite Alien film, that's unforgivable. Right after I said I liked Alien 3. And what's up with I made a statement? No, you didn't. You said your opinion. A statement would have been like truth, like in a court document or something. So I replied, it was your opinion about films, not a truthful statement. Art is subjective, not objective. So what you say is just your opinion. He must not have liked being called on his hypocrisy, so he blocked me. Then I had lots of NECA fanboys and come to his defense. Most were cool. One wasn't. I call him a dumb folk for not knowing art is subjective and thinking Randy is the end-all, be-all of film ratings. Here's the thing. Well, several things. If you like a film and somebody who doesn't disrespects you like that, don't take it. You should be allowed to like or not like a movie. And it's clear to me that this situation wasn't in that type of environment where we can agree to disagree without disrespecting one another. Also, if I'm 20th Century Fox or a filmmaker, Alien 3, Resurrection, AVP, whatever other franchise Randy has dissed in the past and saw essentially the person in charge of making merchandise from your hard work, which took months and years to make bashing your hard work, why would you let this slide? Are you not seeing this, Fox? 
Rainey comes off as the official mouthpiece of the whole company of NECA by stating, we couldn't disagree more about Alien 3. Underline the we. Why hasn't anyone said anything about this? Why hasn't this Randy guy had a gut check? Oh, I swore. So? I'm the consumer. I can say fuck if I choose to. You're the voice of a toy company. You're not allowed to call consumers assholes or pieces of shit. You did it to evil Avatar last year when he called you out in your hypocrisy about the Planet of the Apes line and you got all pissy and blocked him. Sounds familiar, don't it? I called you out about your hypocrisy, about you saying everyone has an opinion, but then crossing a line when it comes to that opinion. You knew I liked Alien 3. I tweeted it before you said this shit. I'm sorry I keep repeating this, guys, but I'm just trying to drill this into you. I'm a nice guy, but don't fucking shove me. That's what Randy did. He's just a dude. Just keeps shoving you and shoving you and shoving you and shoving. And then when you deck him, oh, what'd you do that for? He fucking kept pushing me. Anyways, that's a Twitter incident. I'm not alone with stories about scuffles with Randy over Twitter. He's even spat with other toy companies like Diamond Select, who I think makes pretty good products for low price points. Randy tweeted and made fun of their mini mates, which is a big seller for Diamond Select, which they have multiple license holders for those. Diamond Select had a nice little jab back in there about NECA's old and failed product that was eerily similar to Diamond Select's current crop. I mean, this is just insane. I'm not alone in thinking that Randy is a root individual. I recently went out of town to a small independent toy store that sells vintage and new toys. One of the brands they carry is NECA. So I walked right over that NECA section and then the toy owner came over to me and started BSing with me. I was like, you know what? Do you follow NECA toys on Twitter? Yeah. Randy, the guy who runs it, he's kind of like rude and brash. Yeah, yeah, he is. But I was like, you know what? I don't care because their products look so amazing. Well, they do look amazing, but once you open them, well, they're a fucking joke. And the joke's on us, the consumer. NECA customer service and replacement parts. Jesus age Christ, where do I begin? Go to the NECA website. Find me their customer service email. Uh, don't worry, I'll wait. I got time. Oh. Can't find it? Me either. Okay, flashback to January. Let's tweet NECA to see if I can get a replacement for my broken T2 T800 shotgun because the handle broke on it and it's thin and cheap as hell. That shit's cheap as hell. Randy responds, tweet at NECA CS. Okay. I tweet at NECA CS. NECA CS says, yeah, we don't have it. We'll put you on a list and let you know if we do. Cool. What if I never had a Twitter account? How do you go about getting replacement parts? Well, I was smart. Luckily, Toys R Us had some T2 T800s left in stock and I swabbed out the shotgun part. Do you know what the manager did with the broken shotgun box? She took it and put it on the table behind her. Lady, you have to send that back to the distributor. That is broken. She goes, oh, no, I'm going to sell it. I have all the pity for the person who bought that. It wasn't my fault. That was story number one about NECA customer service. Story number two is this shitty ass endoskeleton I bought off of Amazon. In early June, I asked if they had replacements because the paint was shipping horribly. They said they didn't. Other breaking news. Water. Wet. This is a common problem with this figure. More about it later in Act 2. NECA CS told me to go to the store to see if the store had a replacement. Wow, really helpful. I only did that on my own earlier with a different figure without your help. But this doesn't help at all considering I order from Amazon. It was past the 30-day return period. I'm very late in reviews, so that's why it took so long to review it. I'm just backtracked. And since coming from Hasbro and knowing how their return system works, because they have stock from their own replacement area, they don't take stock from their own Hasbro toy store. I asked NECA if they were like Hasbro in that regard. They said they take replacement figures and give them to people from broken figures and returns. My eyes. Last October, a fan had a broken Pacific Rim NECA figure and hit up Randy on Twitter as a joke. Gotta love that NECA toys quality with a broken arm. <laughs> it's funny because it's true. Randy said, gotta love that sarcastic attitude. Ever here you can catch more flies with honey. The fuck does that mean? That must be an old person thing. Random dude chimes in. Well, to be fair, regardless of his attitude, he should expect better customer service from a national retailer. Randy's first words, we aren't a retailer. One, you're not a retailer, huh? What are those? Your own retail stores? Second, your first words, Randy, are we aren't a retailer. Not, oh, apologize for my tone or disrespect. I clearly don't run a successful global toy company and can't disrespect every customer that's purchased my products. Oh, wait, yes, I can. What a bunch of morons. Why would they ask if a predator isn't up to scale? Pfft, pieces of shit. 
Last bit for Act 1, the 2016 San Diego Comic-Con exclusives. Look, I don't give a shit about the Turtles, but I can understand how Turtle fans are pissed off because I'm pissed off as an alien fan for Newt being a San Diego Comic-Con exclusive. Randy, for the longest time, has denied Newt even happening. Too niche. Wouldn't sell. Human figures don't sell as good as creatures. You know, whatever excuse he pulls out of his ass. And then when it was announced, people went crazy, myself included. I was so happy. Oh, Randy, you sly devil, you swerving the public. Okay, all right, when can I buy her? Newt is a San Diego Comic-Con exclusive. Uh, uh, what? Newt is a San Diego Comic-Con exclusive. Okay, well, can I buy her online like you usually allow us to do from your NECA club or your eBay toy store? Nope, only available in person at San Diego Comic-Con. Do you know what figures make exclusives? Figures that people don't care about much, but only a little bit, like say, Burke. A little enough to buy when you announce them as an exclusive, giving completists initiative to drop money on said exclusive. What you did was, took a character thousands and thousands and thousands of people liked and have been asking for forever and forever, and done the complete opposite. Make her a Comic-Con exclusive limited to 3,000 figures. Fucking mint. Act two, quality control. <laughs> Uh, this video just keeps getting better and better. Paint. I like to say it's about a 90% paint defect rate or something like this very, very high. 100% for eight interstellar figures that went through in February at Toys R Us, 100%. 100% paint defect rate for the Ultimate Technoir Terminator with like seven figures a couple weeks ago. Or two of them online from ToysRUs.com. I had to boil and pop off parts to make a flawless paint app figure. And oh my God, you haven't even seen my endoskeleton review yet. The paint was chipping off as I was reviewing it. You probably think I'm alone on this one, but I'm not. Go look at Amazon or ToysRUs.com reviews of this figure. I'm not alone. This is a problem with the endoskeleton and this is a problem with NECA. But paint isn't really too big of a problem because paint can be fixed by repainting if you're an artist or etc. It sucks for extra money, but it's at least fixable. And if you're talented and you can paint figures. I can't, so I'm kind of screwed. The next problem, however, is not fixable. Bad joints. Yes, bad joints. Which ones? Well, let's list them off. Feet, knees, hips, shoulders, elbows, heads, groins, hands, and the inability to stand up straight. That is every part of a figure. Every part. Here I have a reissued window box big chat from 2015. Look at this leg joint and how it's not flush. Look at this bicep swivel. This shitty ass articulation is such a huge problem. It's also seen here on my alien isolation from earlier this year. And I haven't even taken it out of the clamshell yet. I know what you're thinking. Oh, well, you're a dumbass for not seeing it in the store. Well, that's because I wasn't looking. My eyes weren't open yet. Broken hand, broken foot. All right, so maybe it's like a creature problem, not a human problem. Wrong. The humans are far worse. Look at this Alien 3 Ripley. Look at this leg joint. Same problem as before. I'm taking it back for show. For show. When I think NECA, I think quality. Well, once you take it out of the packaging, it goes from think to thought. Look at this Alien 3 video game dog Zeno's jaw. Warped and morphed. This is after I tried shaping it back to normal. Here's a photo of it when I took it out of the packaging and showed some friends on Facebook. Look how loose this head joint is. It's so loose it doesn't hold its pose. As do the arms. The arms don't hold the pose I put it in because the elbow joints are so loose and the weight buckles underneath. Completely unacceptable. And this is after NECA promised switching factories years ago when they had problems with the Warrior Xenos from Aliens and people were complaining about the leg joints snapping off. Well, it's clear that this issue still needs to be resolved because they still have garbage factories spewing out bullshit. Want more problems? How about NECA's original Rocky figures being trashed? Street Fighter. Look at this fucking big chap hand joint, man. It came right off without even really touching it. Second last bit about the joint section. Pretty much every NECA figure that has this type of articulation for the groin area, aka a soft thin rubber that some people call the diaper, will loosen up over time and will make the legs harder to stay in place because the diaper is getting less and less firm every time you move the legs. And lastly, my beloved Bob the Mexican, his head came right off after opening him out of the box. I cannot make this shit up. Problem standing straight. My Clubber Lang has a bit of scoliosis. My alien big chap figure has a bit of scoliosis. Probably because of this bad leg hip joint. I have to move the right leg in front of the left for him to stand straight. Google NECA quality control. Oh, you know, you get about a quarter of a million results from a small toy company. I Googled them and I found out about their Pacific Rim figures being trashed. A bunch of random people were complaining in a thread about their broken figs. And I had people email me photos of their broken toys, which broke right after they took them out of the packaging. Oh, there's an argument. Sometimes there's an argument. 
that NECA fanboys say, oh, you're supposed to put them in hot water or freeze them before moving them, or you're not supposed to use force with them if your NECA figures break on you. I'm like, uh... I'm just touching it, like posing it for a photo like you're supposed to do, like moving the hand back and forth. The hand should not come off like it did for the big chap just doing this. How about my personal favorite? Uh, you're not supposed to take it out of the packaging. What the fuck? What do you mean you're not supposed to take them out of the packaging? They're toys! Oh, right, I forgot, my bad. I can't believe it. They have them on display at Toy Fair only in the packaging. They never have them loose like in poses or dioramas at conventions. Oh, wait. Distribution problems, just like Hasbro and everybody else. I already discussed the Alien 3 Commando being sold out in my hoarding rant video. But I'll just showcase they don't care when it comes to having shit on the shelves. Some guy tweeted, found a Keaton Batman. As in Keaton Batman is rare to find, which it is. Randy replies, nice find. Like he's not going to restock it or anything. I mean, why would NECA care about their fans, right? I've never seen a Ledger Joker figure. I've never seen a Reeves. It's just fairy dust it doesn't exist it's never landed it is no matter it's not on the elemental chart it it's not fucking real <laughs> right all right, all right. <laughs> and you're probably thinking i'm a troll i'm a NECA hater i want to like NECA. look at my NECA collection of toys i have yet to review aliens terminators and interstellar and home alone and a rocky case and a hateful eight case all kinds of shit and an alien queen for god's sake that's got to be over a grand of stuff there so no i'm not a troll trolls don't support the companies or things they make fun of they just straight up make fun of them i'm a concerned consumer seeing problems with NECA, seeing a brash producer needs to calm himself down seeing toys that are horribly fucking made and seeing fans that are getting figures that are not being advertised to them because they're breaking this world needs more leaders and less followers, and it's very evident that NECA has a very cult-like following, and they deserve it. They do. They make good-looking products for a low price point, but it's that low price point that fails them. In this life, you get what you pay for. A $20 NECA T-100 Guardian compared to a $200 Hot Toy Guardian is no comparison. This almost makes me want to shoot myself for supporting NECA over Hot Toys this whole time, and it took me over a year to see this difference. So what are NECA figures supposed to be? Action figures like they say on the packaging? Action figures are supposed to be durable playthings. Okay, so they're bullshitting. They're not action figures, they're collectibles as stated in their own name, National Entertainment Collectibles Association. So the collectible designation means that you're not supposed to play with them and just put them on shelves and dioramas and stare at them. That's fine, but you can't put them on shelves and stare at them if they keep breaking. They can't stand. You can't put them on display. My Alien 3 dog figure can't even put an authentic running post because of loose leg joints. So NECA, what are you selling to us? You know you have a problem when Toy Wiz, a big toy website, puts a disclaimer about your products potentially breaking on consumers, aka they've had multiple complaints about your figures and have to revise their own TOS to accommodate the complaints. Act 3, The Proposition. Now I flip this situation to you, Randy. It's now on you. If you and I would like to apologize to one another and settle our differences and sort out this situation, I'm game. I'm willing to do that. I hope you see this video for what it truly is, a love letter to NECA for them to sort out their shit and dilemmas because it's clear that they have them after presenting the evidence in this case. If we can't come to agreement or something in say one to two months time, I'm sad to report that this channel will no longer be buying and reviewing NECA products in the future ones that I already haven't rid off my taxes from last year. As a consumer, I cannot accept this treatment because I spend my own money on products. I am not sponsored. I'm not paid to tell you lies. I tell you the truth because like you, I'm a consumer spending my hard earned blood money on fucking toys. And now how NECA fixes their problems. Number one, Randy changed as a person is not rude to people on the internet or is reassigned or is let go. Number two, NECA buckles down their atrocious quality control. Figures will not be fragile pieces of shit that break on people. Echo bucks their price as long as it assures 99% non-defect rate. I don't care. Number three, stop blaming consumers for your awful customer service and return slash replacement policy and man up and hire some designated CS people for a separate CS department, not on Twitter. I don't want to hear how small you are. You're getting bigger every year, gaining license after license, and your products are in big box retailers like Amazon and Toys R Us, let alone small places like FYE and comic book shops slash small toy stores. So stop with the whining, stop with the excuses, and man up to your mistakes. Right the wrongs here. So it's up to you, Randy. Balls in your court to make amends. I said my piece. I'll give you one to two months time for when this video goes live. I have no real way of contacting you because you blocked me. So I'll leave it up to the people watching this video to send this video to you on Twitter. So tweet at NECA underscore toys. Link is in the description. End of line. Give this video a like, subscribe, all that bullshit. Thanks for tuning in CRS. This is one depressing ass video, so let's end it with a joke. Rasta man, you try not to catch a great white Michael. <laughs> That's it. Bye.